How's Antonio Rodriguez? Uh, did he give you any trouble last week? Well, to be honest, it's hard for him to follow orders. And he didn't show up yesterday either. Well, I'll talk to him. Logan, thank you. You're giving him a chance at a new life. Look, I have a, a parish meeting to get to. I'll talk to you soon. We have to do this together. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Victoria, what's on the agenda for our meeting today? Uh, well, recently we've been losing many of our parishioners. Alejandro, uh, have these people moved from our community? Um, they did it, but they no longer feel that our parish environment is safe for their children. Have my boys or girls in any way abused or misled their children? No, uh, but with many of their tattoos and their aggressive demeanor and behavior, they must have driven away and scared some of the children. And besides, we have spent over $10,000 to maintain our facilities ever since this home has arrived. Sophia, I assure you that won't happen again. Well, Last week, when I cleaned the sacristy, I found some cigarette butts under the cabinet. And yesterday, I actually saw Antonio um, smoking drugs in our courtyard area. I hate to say this. We must protect our parishioners and their children. Are you familiar with the moral lesson of the parable of the lost sheep? There will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Will you help me then to find the lost sheep? Jeremy, you've missed my point. We need to keep the 99 safe first. If you're not here for the lost sheep, you're free to go. Thank you for your service to this parish. Sophia, are you going to leave as well? For you, my friend. 